root beer, cream soda, couple of America's favorite soft drinks. Upcoming workshops at the Neville Public Museum are giving you an opportunity to learn how to make them. And Pauline's checking it out this morning. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning, guys. We're talking about the Family Soda Series, and the first session is actually this Saturday. We're here with curator Kevin Cullen, and you're teaching us how to make some cream soda this morning. Why not? Uh, that's the bag of tricks, yeah, and a good <laughs> thing to make in the morning. You know, some people are making breakfast, but why not make some soda? Why um, not? Why not? I mean, you don't have to drink it this morning. You can save okay. it and then put it in your fridge for a while. But yeah, we're going to make uh, a citrus honey cream soda. Okay. So with, with this whole series, uh, what we'd like to do is give people the opportunity to decide what ingredients go into their recipes that they brew at home and make at home and it's a great activity in the, in, especially in the cold winter months oh, yes. um, so what we have actually <laughs> here is uh, we're going to use some Wisconsin honey uh, it's appropriate this time of the year uh, so the bees right. collected that actually out of Potosi oh. and what we can start so that's in southwestern Wisconsin mm -hmm. uh, we have I'm going to grate some zest some lemon so this is going to give it this sort of citrus uh, flavor that we want mm -hmm. so we're going to go ahead and just keep that going. Go ahead and you can pour your honey in. Okay. So what we're doing is we're creating just basically the syrup that is going to form the, the backbone, let's say, of the soda mm -hmm. that gets then diluted in each bottle or in your glass with uh, carbonated water or you can carbonate it yourself. We'll get to that in the bottling session mm -hmm. uh, after this. So. And you say the recipe is actually pretty easy. The recipe is very easy. You know, it's really lemon. Uh, a, a sugar source, you can choose whether you use granulated sugar, brown sugar, right. honey in this case, uh, and then a little vanilla, vanilla extract. So, mm -hmm. you know, historically these things, you know, had some, they go back to about the 1850s, cream soda, and, uh, you know, over time people modified them and decided what they wanted to put in there. So really this is the fun part of kitchen chemistry. It's like teaching people the skills to do it, but it's really, it's not that hard to do really. Mm -hmm. and, and you can uh, maybe even become an entrepreneur, if, you know, if you're actually good enough uh, at what you do. You also have another concoction, another kind of cream soda brewing over here. What yeah, this one? is creme brulee. So this is actually yeah. with a bit of milk. Traditionally, uh, milk was added, you know, but, but over time now it's just become uh, vanilla. Mm -hmm. But what we're using here is, is brown sugar, honey, uh, a little bit of uh, vanilla extract and, uh, and some, some lemon extract. So okay. that's gonna be added directly to seltzer water to have that fizz right away when we do the bottling session so you can taste this one. Okay, so the first one is cream soda. It's this Saturday. Is there still room to sign up for people? There is go? room. Yeah, come okay. down. Bring your family. It's a really fun opportunity to come on an afternoon. Take your bottles with you. We'll do a natural carbonation so you, you can take that home and then a, and a carbonation in the bottle directly so you can drink it that day if you choose. Okay, well we're going to finish this up. We're going to see how the fizz gets into the cream soda next. And of course, we've got to try some. Nothing like some soda at, you know, 6.45 in the morning. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, Thanks Pauline. Pauline.